Ghost Owners, this is APHO37, and today I have for you a 3x3 three three door, but there's something special about this one. It's too wide, but the thing about it is, it all the wiring fits inside of the layout for too wide, so it's just, if I'm not mistaken, 8 tall, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it all fits out inside the layout of the pistons in both ways but it's too wide so that's only been once done bef done once before by TT Lemon but the special thing about this one is it works in bucket because you know how I hate it when designs just don't work in bucket so I, I took it upon myself to make it bucket proof so I came up with my own design it uses a little miniature controlled clock so what happens is I flip the lever the repeater turns on, turning on this redstone to stop the clock to turn off that torch. Then, when, <coughs> excuse me, alright, so when this, since this piston is extended, this repeater will turn off, the clock will go until the piston, um, retracts. So, the way it works is the I have a double extender circuit like that and you just fire it twice and it'll do the whole double extender and the way I did that with was with that clock so that's how I did it and just a short delay right here for this piston and that's pretty much how it works so let's jump right into the tutorial alright so right here you have your normal 3x3 layout so just the two double pistons on the bottom for the double extender, this piston right here to store that block, and this piston right here to help with the closing, then these side pistons for the rest of the blocks. So let's just get our input block and put that <coughs> right here, and a torch right there with a block, torch block and we should probably turn this off first so it doesn't get messed up and the torch right there just fix all this and for this part of your double extender you're going to need two blocks right there repeater, repeater there two redstone like this <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me I have a cold it always stinks so anyways a torch right there, Peter going into your floor block, which by the way has to be sawed for the clock, and then two blocks right there, redstone dust right here, and a repeater on two. So that's your bottom part. Now let's just go into the redstone for the top pistons and the rest of the clock, so just close it, and then put a torch there, block, and just run redstone up like this repeater there and redstone across here you could probably put that on too to make it a, more of a spiral thing but that's just your choice so anyways <coughs> block here block there just fill in your frame as usual Repeater on four ticks there. Two redstone dust right here. <laughs> and sticky piston facing downwards for the clock and a block like that. Alright, so now it should work. Let's just test it out. Yep. So it works just fine. It's 100% reliable all directions as far as I know coordinates bucket to so anyways thanks for watching comment subscribe leave a like if you please I will see you next time